and welcome back to the Comic Pop Kitchen, where today I'm going to be making for you a recipe that I don't really have a recipe for. We're going to be doing the Big Belly Burger. Now, there's no recipe in the comics for it, but I do have a few leads on where this burger came from. Invented in 1988 in Adventures of Superman, Big Belly Burger has been a staple of the DC Universe. We've seen it in Flash, we've seen it in Superman, we've seen it all over the DC Universe. It's even traveled onto TV at this point. But where did it all start? Well, you have to take a look at Bob's Big Boy Burgers over on the West Coast, of course, where they invented the Double Decker Burger and they had their red relish on it and it was awesome. And immediately I was like, it's gonna be a Double Decker patty, right? But then every single image I was able to find of, which wasn't very many of the actual burger, mainly in logos, pictures on a bag, wrapped up, looks like it's a single patty. Now, that's kind of funny because they made such a big deal about making it a big boy burger, but it really seems like it's a single patty burger. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing a third pound single patty burger. If we're doing a big belly, I'm not doing a quarter pound. We're bumping it up and it's going to be awesome. At least I hope. But in the end, this is what I think big belly burger would be giving us. Okay. Let's talk about ingredients. Let's start with the meat. I went with a ground chuck. I like the fat to meat ratio. I like the flavor we get from it. But if you can't get a hold of that, ground beef is fine. Anything that's 80-20 or maybe 85-15 is good. For four third pound burgers, I'm gonna go with about 21 ounces or so, give or take. If you're gonna make smaller burgers, then you can reduce the amount from there. Just do the math. Math is fun. It'll be great. It may not seem that important, but lettuce definitely plays a key role here. If we're talking about a fast food place, I think we have to go with iceberg. So just get ahead of iceberg lettuce. We'll talk later about if we're gonna shred it or cut it up, but I think that's the way to go. Feel free to change it, but for me, fast food restaurant equals iceberg lettuce. Okay, this burger would be incomplete if we didn't have cheese. So we're gonna go with good old fashioned yellow American cheese. I got it sliced a little bit thicker at the deli because for me that works totally perfectly to that big piece just slap right on there unmelted. We're gonna do two different sauces. The first we'll start with is one that we're kind of more used to, the secret sauce. So for that, you're gonna need six tablespoons of mayo. You're also going to need four teaspoons of relish. I happen to have India relish in the kitchen, so I used that. You could also use sweet relish. Really, any green relish will do. And the final ingredient for our secret sauce is four teaspoons of ketchup. What, expected more? And for our second sauce, it's a red relish. I bought mine, there's no shame in that. There's no time to make this red relish right now, but you can if you'd like to. This is way more of a West Coast thing. Something you might find on a Coast City burger, perhaps. And let's not forget burger seasoning. Salt and pepper. That's it, that's all that's going in here. It's a burger, it's all you need. Trust me on this, you'll see. We're also gonna want a place to land our burger. I'm going with sesame seed bun. I'm going with one that looks like it came from a fast food place. You can go with something that's a little more artisan. That's up to you. But I'm making this like it came from the fast food joint. Okay, for hardware, we're going to put a cutting board on top of a cutting board. But you're going to want that cutting board and that knife for your lettuce. I'm going to be using a skillet for my burgers. I'm going to be cooking them on there to simulate a flat top at a fast food place. You could also use a grill pan or you could just use your grill outside. So the last thing you'll need is a small bowl and a spoon in order to mix our sauce in. There you go. All right, let's start with our sauce. So we're gonna take our mayo, there it is. We're gonna put it right in the bowl. Here we go. We're well on our way to making our secret sauce, unveiling the secret right here, right now, it's happening. To get that in the bowl, kinda loosen it up there a little bit. And next we're gonna add our ketchup. I think you probably see where this is going, but come with me on the journey anyway. Okay, now that our ketchup's in there, now we're gonna take our relish, put it right in on top of it. And now, if you could imagine for a moment, we are going to mix these all together. Once they're thoroughly combined, we have created the secret sauce. You might say it's kind of like a Thousand Island dressing, but not quite. The ratios are a little different here and we're missing a few ingredients. Again, you can do this to taste if you'd like, but this is a base recipe that I kind of like. Feel free to start with this and then change it from there. Okay, let's deal with this head of lettuce. I'm gonna start with my iceberg lettuce. It's unwashed right now. That's a little safer to cut. We can wash it after we're done cutting it. So we're gonna take our knife. We wanna make sure it's firmly, got the lettuce on the cutting board there, and I'm gonna cut it approximately in half. There we go, kinda looks like a brain. Awesome. So now we're gonna take that, and I'm gonna cut that in half again, essentially quartering the lettuce. Just like that. Now, if you were gonna make a wedge salad, you'd be good to go, but that's not what we're doing here, so. I'm gonna take out some of the white and the yellow stuff on the inside. Now, if we were making salad or anything like that, I would absolutely use that. 
but for burger standards, I want that green top few layers there. That's the part that's really pretty. That's what I wanna have hanging off the end of the burger. So I'm gonna split this up a little bit more, just like this, and one more, there we go, and here we go. This is kind of what I'll be looking for to put onto my burger in essentially lettuce like sheets. But if you prefer the shredded type, let's take that quarter, we'll put it down, and then just safely cut those into strips. All right, you see my hand there? You see how I'm protecting my fingers? Just a little safety tip there for you. All right, that's all done, and you'll have something like that. All right, let's season our burgers. So for the ground chuck that I have, I'm gonna end up using somewhere around a half a teaspoon of pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. Now you can adjust that to taste depending on how you like your burgers, but again, just salt and pepper, nothing else. We also wanna make sure that we avoid over mixing the chuck. If we do that, the burgers can become too dense and actually a little bit tough. So I'm gonna get the salt and pepper in here. I'm gonna use my hands and barely incorporate this in there. I'm gonna to try to avoid any big pockets of either of the seasoning, but I'm not gonna over mix this. All right, I can't stress that enough. You want the burgers to be really juicy and delicious? That's a cardinal rule right there, guys. So it's pretty much mixed in there and yep, we're good. Yep, no, just get out of there. Okay, let's actually form some burgers. So I'm gonna be using my kitchen scale here. You can see me putting a plate on it, zeroing that out so it doesn't count that as part of the weight. And now I'm actually gonna grab a little bit of the burger. I'm gonna try to keep this loose, just trying to divvy it out. If you don't have a kitchen scale, just do your best. It'll be fine. If someone gets a little bit bigger burger, you know, hopefully it's you who gets that. So I'm pretty happy with that amount. So now I'm gonna take this and kind of form it into like a really loose meatball, essentially. I don't wanna make this burger too dense. Again, I, I didn't wanna over mix it and now I don't wanna over form it. But you will see me doing a lot of work here, but I'm pressing really lightly. So it's gonna take me a little bit longer to get there, to get to a size I like. Again, I'm trying to keep my bun in mind as well as I'm doing this. Now, let me ask you guys something. Have you ever had a burger that ended up being really bulged or really rounded for some reason? Well, let me tell you how to avoid that because I've had that happen to me before. Just put your thumb right in the middle and make a little indent there. You can make it pretty severe if you want, not, not too deep, but you're gonna want essentially a little well in there, which will help to avoid the dreaded hockey puck burger. As I'm going along, I'm actually gonna fix some of these wells and you'll see them when we go to cook. Just don't forget, don't make them too dense and put your thumb in the middle. Okay, it's finally time to cook these burgers. Now, you don't have to add oil to the pan if you don't want to. I'm gonna do so because I'm trying to simulate the idea of the greasy griddle, but trust me, there's plenty of fat in these burgers. You won't have to worry about that, especially if you have a nonstick skillet like I do. So I've lit my pan. I'm gonna wanna get it pretty hot for this. You can see here the oil's shimmery and I'm ready to put my burgers in. I'm gonna do two at a time. I don't wanna crab my pan. I want to get a really good sear on the outside of these burgers. You can see now that I'm just gonna manage my heat. I'm gonna keep an eye on these. I'm gonna keep them in here for three to four minutes. That's gonna depend on the temperature that you want for these burgers. Three to four minutes is gonna give you something around medium rare. If you want something more than that, increase it by a minute for medium. And I'd say if you're looking for well done, then you could do six minutes or until you're happy with them. Okay, it's time to flip. I'm just gonna flip them over there very carefully. Again, I'm working with an open flame here. There's a lot of fat here. We want to avoid grease fire, so always do this safely. You can see I got a really nice char on these. I'm really pleased with how this is going so far. You might want to put a kitchen fan on for this. It will make a lot of smoke. What I did there was I had it on for another three to four minutes and then I pulled them off and I'm actually keeping them warm in a very low temperature oven right now while I'm cooking the other burgers because I don't like cold burgers. I'm sure you're wondering right now, where's the cheese? Well, it's not going on the burgers in the pans. Not many classic fast food places tend to do that, so that'll be part of the assembly. It's time to assemble our burgers. So I'm gonna start with my bun. I'm gonna split it in two, or of course gonna be starting from the bottom. I'm gonna put sauce on the bottom. I'm trying to avoid too much sliding around with burgers and toppings here. So I'm gonna do one with secret sauce, one with the relish, and you know, we'll let people taste and decide for themselves. I decided to go with, again, the pieces of lettuce instead of the shredded. Make sure your lettuce is washed and then thoroughly dried. If it's not dried, it's gonna be sliding all over the place. And that's not fun when you're trying to take a bite of a burger. So we have our burgers here. Again, I've been keeping them warm, not for very long. I got them cooked, we're assembling them immediately. I'm gonna take two pieces of cheese. I'm just gonna put one down and then put the other one so that the corners are mismatched like that. And there you go. 
right? No, it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna do one little extra thing here. I've got a piece of parchment paper down and then actually a bit of lunch bag underneath it and I'm gonna wrap my burger. So I'm gonna take it, fold it in half, fold in the bottom side there and then I'm going to just pull down the other sides around it. Now, of course, I did this off camera, so you can't see what I did, but you can see the final product, and there you go. You can look it up online. Now, I'm going to build one more with the red relish on the bottom. Very similar idea here. You're going to take your red relish. There you go. You're going to put it right on the bottom of the burger. Then we'll layer our lettuce, our burger, our cheese, and our top on it. And we're ready to eat. Guys, you're about to take a bite of what I think the Big Belly Burger from the DC Universe might actually be like. There's a lot of debate, two patties, one patty, at least there was for me. We went with a, a single patty. These are one third pound burgers that we have in here. Mm. Uh, they're the ground Ooh. chuck all the way through. Um, so you have the hamburger relish, some of you have the secret sauce. Um, if you guys want to add some after you take a bite, go for it. But for right now, let's try this out. All right, we got synchronized burgers. <laughs> okay, we're synchronizing, okay. Up and go. Mmm. It's a good burger. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I like this a lot. All right. Good job, Tiffany. Yeah. The first. Okay. First up, <laughs> the bun is soft and really blends with the meat, so that's that's a win. So I like a good, yeah, like a good uh, yeah. vessel for my sandwiches. But we are going on here that you wouldn't be able to get at the Big Belly Burger. So this is my only thing that I defer you from. Is they're pink. No fast food place is going to give you yeah. a pink burger. No. But I had a really hard time <laughs> letting that happen to this meat. Let me tell you something. That's the way I want my burger. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, seemingly this looked really like this really basic, and I was like, "Is there anything like great about this?" This is great. Mm. <laughs> it's a great this burger. hamburger relish is really good. Yes, it yeah. is. I yeah. am surprised. That's, That's awesome. a secret sauce. That's good as well. Mm -hmm. Nice. With the hamburger relish, as I mentioned before. That's a really West Coast thing, and that, like, that red relish um, really was on that original Big Boy Burger. Um, and as Big Boy Burger traveled throughout the country, it became close to a secret sauce instead. Oh. The only seasoning in this burger, salt and pepper. That's it. Mm. I told you. It's, it's a okay. perfect ratio. Like, whatever you used. Salt and pepper? It's not over salt. I don't feel what, like I need a drink. Yeah. I like the fact that with all the ingredients on this thing, it's not a messy burger. It's not drippy everywhere. Yeah. But there's a lot to it. Yeah. yeah. I will say the bag really helped, though. Wicks away any of the moisture. Mm. Yeah. That, that guys, is a problem. Yeah. Any you guys moisture. saw me earlier wrap my burger. The other burgers, in the interest of time to keep them warm, what I did was I actually took a paper lunch bag and I cut it all the way down to that lowest fold. It sits yeah. right in there. It's just a cute little thing to do. It mm -hmm. is. Perfect size. And it catches all this like sauce that leaks out and cheese. Yeah. And stuff no, it's, your hands it's clean. great. Yeah. And it keeps your hands clean. Yeah. Exactly. And I don't even mind the lettuce, by the way. Right? I, I don't like lettuce on my burger. This was well put together. It's crisp. It doesn't... Because my problem is they always put like... It's like a plastic sheet mm. that when you bite into it just pulls all the food out of the bun. Right? Everything's firm and held together. Right? Well, that comes from... Um, we didn't end up using the shredded lettuce. We used like those chunks that I came up with. That really helps to hold it together. It's also the way we layered the burger. Sauce first. Lettuce on top of that, burger on that, cheese on top. Now, don't forget this cheese isn't melted on top because it's a fast food place. They wouldn't be doing that for you. Um, but if you make these on the grill and you want to do that, go for it. But I got to tell you, I think the ground chuck makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. This is like the perfect meat for this kind of burger. Everything just comes together. It's a great marriage of flavors. I'm loving this right now. I do wish we had some fries, and maybe in the future we'll do something where we'll do something with fries or whatever. But that's the only thing. That's that's my, that's my one, like, mmm. That's a pity. You could do a big DC cookout. Because right now, I am envious of All right. the residents of the DC universe. Right. <laughs> the, the other thing you could do is you go check out this episode card, I guess, is over here. Where I make Green Arrow's chili. You could take some of that, and you could put it right on this burger. Ooh. And bam, you got yourself a crossover. I'm going to call it the Brave and the Bold Burger <sighs> right there. That's yeah. an amazing idea. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys give a shot of this big belly burger. Again, this is one we didn't have an exact recipe for, but based on all of my research, this is what I think they might be like in the DC universe. So again, 
give it a try. Let me know what you think of it. Don't forget to maybe check out that other episode where we do chili and maybe put some on the burger. Let me know how that turns out. I think it'd be awesome. Um, and thank you guys for testing my food with me because I really appreciate it. Anytime. <laughs> you are welcome. All over here. <laughs> That's right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Comic Pop. And make sure you keep coming on back here for all the awesome Comic Pop stuff we're doing, whether it be talking about comics or eating food right from them. I'm Tiffany. I'm Fowl. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.